Hello and welcome to Sea Open. We are here at Legacy Atlanta. So that is the intermediate Atlanta and not the super speedway version. And we are, uh, of course, driving the Craftsman truck and uh, getting ready to get started here as the number six. So, um, Daniel asked if I would like to run this um, time slot here tonight, and I said, yeah, absolutely. And he shared a, a setup he made for it very kindly, and I always super appreciate that. And then, unfortunately, I think he just missed out on top split because we've got a full 24 truck field here, um, and it looks like they're kind of very bottom is a 2.2k um, I rating and uh, very very uh, wide field because up here is the number one we've got an 8.2k so very wide range in here but uh, hopefully we'll have ourselves a good race I'm gonna really focus up here and try to hit a good lap I think we're gonna want to get it done on lap one because uh, I think whenever I get around to lap two, by the time we hit three and four, it feels like uh, the tires want to give just not quite as much grip. So we're going to try to get a good run to the line here, and at the same time not break loose. Because the setup is great, the Q setup that Daniel provided. But you gotta be a good driver too, <laughs> and uh, you gotta watch out because it will overstep on you if you're not careful. Even turn one, so that's what we do is we're gonna do the same here. Okay, kept it smooth. Could have been a little bit faster, I think, but kept it on the line. And through there, that'll put us at a sub 31, not too bad. I'll try to push a little bit harder on lap 2 here, but I think probably not going to be as good. Really try to keep it low there so that way it would grip up, potentially. And then here we're going to have to lift off bigger just from what I experienced in practice and even still kind of pushing a little bit and not quite as much speed out of it so that's okay we'll get a sub 31 I think maybe this uh, that all-time optimal I had right there anyway was probably with a little bit of draft so probably was never gonna be able to keep up with that anyway and uh, for now we'll have our 30.9 good for P2 but basically no one's <laughs> put laps in yet so we'll see how far we fall Nice big gap between us and third right now, though. So hopefully lots of room for guys to follow in behind us. And a quick practice pit in right here as well. Watch your speed. There we go. Not bad, not bad. So that way if this thing goes green, we'll be ready for it. And uh, ready to refuel this thing. Looks like we'll have about 46-ish laps of fuel. So can get to lap 40 and then some if it's only a little bit past lap 40 maybe we just go a little long if we run into that situation I'm surprised how many people have not qualified I mean there's still time of course but they're just barely kind of trickling in I'm not sure what the deal is with that oh, we got a guy that pretty much tied us 993 Now we will get uh, the race set up in. The only slight thing I changed was the steering offset. I kind of moved it a little bit. I think it was plus. Uh, I guess maybe I shouldn't say anything about anything <laughs> with the setup because I'm not supposed to. But uh, I, I changed that a little bit. Um, Your engine temperature is back to normal. Just a very, very minor adjustment. Just so it felt a little bit more comfortable to me. So yes, uh, it's been confirmed. I uh, wish Daniel luck in his race. He's confirmed that uh, he just barely ended up in second split. So good luck to him. Hopefully his race goes well. We'll do our best here. It's looking like we're going to get a good starting position, but I don't know why so many people aren't qualifying. Are they expecting this to be a wreck fest? I don't know. 
But it's going to be real tough to not overdrive. Atlanta, of course, shreds tires. So we're going to work really hard to try to not uh, overdrive the thing. Hopefully be able to keep in some draft as, at the same time, though. So we'll have to balance that. Oh, we've been dropped to fourth with a couple seconds left. But yeah, look how many people didn't qualify. That's really curious. And the 18 the pseudo qualified, racial. unless he just made a mistake. But I think he was just trying to get to the end of the guys who did qualify. So interesting. I have not really done any of these races this week. So I don't know if it's a big wreck fest most of the time. And that's why everybody's kind of hanging back or what. But it is a 4,000 strength of field. So very tough competition. Line up on the outside. Closed. Pit road is closed. Session last lap up. The estimated SOF is 4,042. Yeah, there's the exact number on that DNS strength of field. Hurt our points a lot. So we'll probably stretch our fuel to maybe like 45 if this goes green. Don't want to go too far. Maybe even uh, coming a little bit earlier, depending on how our tires are feeling and how we're how what our speeds looking like compared to the field. If I kill my tires by accident, maybe we're coming sooner, but. We'll set a tentative plan until then. Yeah, there's a, a a little bit frustratingly, there's a lot of alts, alt accounts here in the field, which there's guys that should have higher I ratings than me, lower numbers. And uh, <laughs> that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, this is a 5.5K on, on mains. That guy says, yeah, that's probably true. That's a whole controversial thing <laughs> about uh, alt accounts, but something tells me iRacing is never going to say no to more money. So, and hey, if more money provides us, in theory, more and better content, then sure, whatever. <laughs> All I ask is for people on alt accounts to race as carefully as they would on their regular account, which, who knows. But, you have three additional sets of time but also, who cares about listening to me? Run. I'm just some random dude. P4, 80 laps. Anyway, don't think we're, we're going to need to save any fuel or anything. Should be able to get to exactly where we need to get, at least halfway. P4 is a pretty darn good spot in such a strong field. I'm happy about that. Old Atlanta could be pretty slippery on the... Restart, so I'm gonna have to watch out for that. Practice this a little bit. Feels like uh, second gear, which is what we're gonna be using. Seems to be just fine. Pretty low RPM, so no spun tires to worry about, I don't think. I hope it's a good race. Like I said, the. So many people not qualifying tells me that maybe these have been really messy all week, and so people are just trying to stay out of the fray. We'll see what happens. Maybe we can be in front of it. We've got some really great track positions to start off here. So, maybe if there is going to be a mess, it'll happen behind us. But 80 laps here at Old Atlanta. Good old okay, Atlanta. Going green. See how it goes. We got the uh, restart zones or two. That's right. Here we go. We're gonna be going on green. Green flag. Green flag. Ooh, I wonder if P2 just black flagged himself. He might have been in front of the leader. Can't do that in this new system. Trying to kill my tires, but I'm stuck on the outside for now. Still there, inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. Does like to kind of hook at the end of uh, turn two, so I'm kind of watching out for that as well. Don't want to end up getting loose and getting onto the guy on the inside. Still there at 
bottom. P6, the lead is just done at 31.6. The car in front is just done at 31.6. I'd love to get to that bottom and quit hurting my tires, but not much I can do about it right now. Still there at the bottom. Almost feels like I'm on a short track. The guy that's on the bottom are going around us. Still there, hold your line. Kind of sticking his nose out there just a little bit. I'm almost definitely pushing too hard right now, but there's I can't do anything about it. I'm just stuck out here having to drive as hard as I need to. Maybe we just push just for one second to try to get clear of the guy on the inside. I'm getting pretty close. The guy that says, to heck with tires, we're going high line. Okay. Can we clear him? Clear him Thank goodness. Clear him and go to the inside. Alright, now we <laughs> go into recovery mode. Try not to make these tires any worse. That'll mean going to the bottom, trying not to overdrive. That's both on entry and through the center. I think it's going to be important not to go full throttle through the center if I can avoid it. So I feel like that's just going to get on the right front as well. No. But we've held on to P4 even after being on the outside for so long, so... I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll see how the tires hold up. What the fuck are you doing? Someone's angry. Something's happening somewhere. In the draft of the lead pack here, that's good. I don't know if any packs have formed or not anywhere through the field, but we don't have to worry about it, so that's good. Got the two in front of us to hopefully help me manage my uh, throttle, not overdrive it. So far so good though. I'm happy with where I'm running. Not sure who it was that was running the top earlier. I thought they were going to come past us, but they never quite did. I wonder if they ran out of steam already, or if they just uh, were doing that to get around somebody real quick. Didn't see who it was. Felt a little tight there. I think I missed my turn in just a little bit. Probably wanted to be a little lower. Oh, we got a pass attempt. All right. Yellow and black truck going to the inside of the green car truck. I always do that. Mix it up. Is this guy going to pass us? Not look like it. He's content riding behind for now. We are definitely getting tight in 3 and 4, though. Inside. He's going to want to go. That's cool. I want to try to file him if I can. Stay high to the car on the low side. 
clear inside. So we will. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Eleven's going to her outside. Keep low. Pushing a little bit harder. Oh, that's one of the alt accounts. So that's a guy that probably could be the number one truck. So that'll be the one one truck. Get loose. Keep blood. Got some arrow stuff going on there. Guys uh, behind end on my outside. And I think I might be feeling the effects of having run that outside line early too much. Because it's getting a little bit too tight on that bottom groove. Next time, buddy, I'm on. But, uh, quick and tough, my marriage big time. Try to hold on to as much as we can. See these guys really getting runs out of the corner though, they've got better grip. Inside. We're not gonna race that, that hard to stay high to the car on the low side. Stupid. Clear inside. Alright. Get them by us. It's been green so far, by the way. So far so good. Everyone's racing really well. Even though we're really close to one another. Almost when he's a little bit of break into three, it's bogging down so bad. Or rather, it's uh, feeling so tight. Might have to think about that as we get further into the run. Eight. Interesting. The leader looks like he's going by the wall. That could be a play if the truck continues to get tight and uh, kind of have to end up doing what you need to do. That was bad, by the way. I got loose. Oh, Five coming around. Clear. And we got a big gap here behind us. You complain about me racing the way I did, but then you turned me. That's awesome. Don't block. Don't block. I went to the outside of the guy in front of me. How's that blocking? Really interesting how the truck is evolving right now. It's it's pretty tight in three and four, but getting kind of loose midway through one and out of exit of two. All has to do with how I'm driving it, I think, though. Having been stuck outside early. Do we try to run a lane higher in one and two now? We might need to. Or at the very least, take a wider arc. Wow, getting really loose out of two. You can see some guys sliding up ahead. Saw a little bit of smoke, even. I think a tiny bit of break. Oh, someone's on the wall. 16. No harm done there, though, I guess. Except for to, to him, he loses some spots, but no, no wrecking. I like one and two. It's a real challenge. It's it's getting loose, but I would prefer that than tight. So I like how it feels over there. I'll just continue starting to use a little bit of brake in three and four and being easy. I think we're keeping up just fine. the loose there a little bit. Side by side up there. Guys getting loose, that could easily be a wreck. If someone gets loose whenever they've got a truck right behind them. They might not be able to check up in time, so I have to be ready to react here.
I had to push a little bit more there, but it actually started pushing toward the wall out of two. So, it's a fine line, I guess. It will get loose, but if you push too hard, it, it seems like it starts to four-tire slide. Gotta find that balance. We've still got over a second behind us. Still pretty content with how I'm doing here. Oh, there is that loose again. Wow. That's the fun of Atlanta, though. It, it tears up your tires, and you gotta figure out how to deal with it. That's what we're doing here, is doing our best to figure it out. Still in the top ten, which would be fantastic as the sixth car in a strong field to be able to pull that off. Got through there much better that time. I'm starting to lose them a little bit though, which makes me a little concerned. I'd love to stay in their draft if I can. Trying a little bit of a higher entry here. See smoke. They're doing things up ahead. Oh, it's someone crashing. A lap car crashing. On the apron, though. And he's stopping? No, he's not stopping. I thought he was stopping. I'm going to bring out the caution, but I think he's still rolling. Whoa, big moment for the eight. Maybe I'm glad I'm <laughs> back a little bit further. Holy cow, he's getting loose on the straightaway. Gonna do our best to try to keep up right now. Oh boy. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, hit the wall. Well, he's trying to hit you. 16's irritated that he ran into the 8. I'm gonna try around the high line here. I think we're close enough to pit stops that uh, we can get away with that. And it looks, it looks like that's going to be the faster way around at the moment, so we're going to do that. In 1 and 2, of course, I think uh, not going to work so much in 3 and 4. Probably going to be way too tight for that, and I don't want to find out by getting into the wall that it's too tight. Two guys ahead, though, definitely having some handling trouble. We will cut down below the 8. Get on the brakes a little bit more as we head into 3. We'll get the run on the outside though. Oh my god, they're cutting the grass. Oh man, that got really loose. Just no, <laughs> no grab out of the corner. Like I was hoping it would have. Seven has caught us. That's okay. We came a long way to get here, so I'm not too concerned. about letting him by. He's obviously going to just run away with it. Just going to go low side this time. Inside. He's driving down low whether I took that line or not, so I'm just going to let it happen. Clear.
Try high line here, see what happens. Maybe the middle at least. We were letting him by last lap, so maybe not the best indicator of how well that works, but I think it worked well. Line for real. Nah, not a thing. More smoke from guys sliding up ahead, looked like. See how much time we gain there in three and four, going low instead of high. Okay, Colton. Pit window is much open. better option. Just done Seven continues moving forward, but it does seem like his march forward has slowed down just a bit. He was flying a minute ago. The number one truck is about a second behind, having made his way up further. Got a little bit tight on exit there. I just overdrove it. probably come in about in lap 41. I was going to wait a little bit longer, but I don't think we did a very good job with tires. That early um, middle lane that we had to drive on the outside didn't help us at all. Eight looking like he's falling back. Oh, guy in the wall up ahead. That's that 16 again. He's been having some issues with the wall. Wonder if we're going to get any undercutters. I expect to see them come in soonish. If they do, we are good on fuel if we pit right now. I'm real close to that wall, I was probably a little closer than I needed to get. Made me a little nervous. One is approaching. He's not someone I was ever going to beat anyway, so I'm not too upset about that. Though it does stink to lose our top 10 running position. A little bit too low there. If I pushed any harder than I did, I would have ended up in the wall. We're going to try the low line again in one. It's been a while since we went down there. If it doesn't work, we'll be able to get the one bias real easy anyway, so not a big deal. Although the one is actually running low. Maybe that's because the low line seems to be better right now. 
That's good to know. So much better with his tires right now. You saw how much time he gained through the center right there. I'm gonna let him go low. The lap time was 53.6. Okay, Colton. Cup time's pretty Still there. Hold your line. Clear. He could run out of the corner, but I'm just gonna push him. I'm using the try to get by him again and waste both our time. He's on a mission. There's a car leaving the pits. So we have had some takers, or at least one. Yeah, that's half distance. We estimate 10. Lumps remaining on this tank. That is the 21, and I think I might come in. It's a bit risky. We could get a yellow, but... I like that I have some space behind me right now, so I don't have to worry about calling it out. And we're past halfway, so I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, not bad for the entry. Here we got our fuel and tires selected. I was checking, you know, I should be able to trust that, but I don't. Five. Three. Two, one, right here. All right, good. It stopped. Fifty-six, fifty-seven. All right. Despite how I was feeling, actually, pretty darn good tire reading. I think I might just not be very fast. <laughs> go, go, go! Happens. Watch your mirrors. There's a car approaching. I get onto this more banked apron here. Try not, not lose any time getting back up to speed. And hopefully these knuckleheads keep it green. Don't need to be trapped to lap down, that's for sure. But we should gain some massive time with how much uh, speed we've lost. And hopefully be able to save our tires better this time around compared to last time. So. Yeah, see right how this now. cycles out? This is uh, pretty exciting. not any issues getting around guys. Car outside. Maybe they'll see us coming. Go low. Clear. We're setting the pace. Fastest guy on track right now. Outside. Use moments like these outside. to uh, just be outside. easier on the throttle and save a little Clear. bit extra Hold tires right. when we're catching guys at weird spots. Clear outside. That guy's pitting. Glad I noticed his message at the last second. You see the message up above and then you gotta look down and see if it's the same guy that's in front of you. And then hopefully react in time by the time all that happens. The car in front is pitting. Car outside. Keep low. Clear. All right, he's just gonna drive in the racing line. This guy going 20 miles an hour faster coming up on him. Clear he might be pitting though. Nope, he was just maybe didn't see us coming. To be fair, we're coming up pretty fast, so. B19. That lap time was 32.2. I think we can do much better with our tire wear this time. Even though it was pretty close to even, I think we can get a bigger number on both the front and back by taking it easier this time around. Oh, they're wrecking. This could be a dangerous situation. We're gonna go around the outside. Right, so you're kidding me, right? Nope. Still there. Can't waste time, man. That was dangerous. Stay high to the but on the we did what we had to do here. We need to pass. Clear inside. Just in the lucky dog position. 16th place. Inside. Still there. Inside. This will be them passing us later, but that's okay.
they're going to be flying past us about the same speed once all is said and done. Outside. Still there. Clear high. The captain Brooks behind us now. He's going low. Car inside. Clear. And we're about to unlap ourselves. I don't know what good that does, but... <laughs> when uh, the caution comes out right now, we still have to pit again. I'm pitting. Use too much of these tires, but hey, lead lap. The lead is pitting now. It's pitting. Collins is leading the race. The leader is coming up on you. They're not at five. <laughs> yeah, good call, Crew Chief. Are you paying attention? Just pit. Or if you're talking about the two, he's definitely not coming up on us. So this is probably going to look good for us for a second because of how much time we're making up on the fresher tires, but I promise you it's all going to go away. Not too bad. I think we can get back into the top ten. That's where we were, but it's going to look much better than that for a minute. <laughs> and I just gotta keep my expectations in check. The car in front is pitting. Everybody seemed to go a full, uh, go for the full tank method, running it until it was empty. Heading the time, but I found it. Got plenty of fuel. We're quite good. I mean, obviously we went more than halfway, so we're fine. You're in the top ten. Here's that part where I was telling you it's going to look much better than it actually should look. The car behind is pitting. The, the lead is pitting now. Is pitting. The fastest the car in front is pitting. 31.3. Phillips ahead is pitting. So we're starting to pass some guys we should not be in front of. Murphy is now in the lead. I'm happy with my green flag pit stop though. I feel like I got into the pits pretty decently. I didn't slide past my box. I think it was solid, not perfect, but solid. Here's the part where we're in third, but that's not for real, and I think we're actually technically in the lead right now. Like I said, take it with a grain of salt. That three car is coming up quick. I'm still 100% okay with uh, this call I made. We get a caution, we're suddenly restarting from first, which is awesome. And I think uh, we still should be able to hold on for a good spot. And hey, look at that. You're in first. You're in first. We let a lap. That's pretty neat. We can get a little bit of draft here. What do you know? A little bit of dirty air too, unfortunately, but hey, give it taketh away. Outside, good consistency, keep it up. Keep low. Clear high. Guy behind's gaining about a second a lap almost, so. We won't be fighting him when he gets here. Just trying to minimize the loss of time as he gets around. Twenty-six to go. That was a thirty-two point six. I think we can probably hold on to a pretty decent spot. I don't know. Maybe I'm optimistic, but I feel like uh, we'll have these guys passing us. We'll get into their draft for a second. That'll be helpful. We are already top 10 ish. Running pretty well. Bottom. 
show that we are going to do so. No uncertain terms. Going to be letting them go on the bottom. Clear inside. Eleven's coming up next. They're about a second behind. Probably going to reach us by the time we get to turn one. Not quite, but he's going to reach us by the end of turn two. Inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear inside. Pista in front is now 0.1. P3, still not so bad. 22 to go. Kind of liking this big lift and then kind of late apexing that I'm doing here lately. Feels like I get lots of turn and grip late in the corner. Do that when I can, but obviously not going to be able to do that when these guys are passing. Coming around the outside. Go low. Still there, hold your line. Keep low. Outside is clear. Line of cars going outside. by. Guys that were ahead of us anyway. Still there. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Sixth place. Clear. Was at Too far off pace to even battle with those guys. Too much race left for that anyway. Oh, he just ran over the eight. The gap is now three. Give room for the eight to gather it up. Inside. Two's gonna come on by, but we'll repass the eight for now. I'm sure the eight didn't appreciate that. Although I didn't see exactly what happened. Don't let me be blaming people without knowing for sure. All I know is the eight got sideways. Feels like the truck is kind of coming back in on us. Feeling less sluggish. Which is great. We're in P6. We've got over a second behind us, which they still very much could catch us again, but. See, we got some green. I think I've done a better job this time saving the tire. It's not quite as tight through center. Just and uh, as an added bonus, I'm not getting that huge loose out of the exit of two either. See how well we can hang on. That uh, seven's going to come past us, though, it looks like. He's got much fresher tires, but that's just another guy who is faster than us anyway. We're just trying to beat that uh, P10 where we entered the pits from. That would be a, a, a win when it comes to uh, how we handled pit stops. Seven should catch us by the time we get to turn one, it looks like.
Not quite. Taking them a little bit longer. It's gonna get a run with the high line. V6. We'll give him the bottom here. Inside. The captain, Collins, ahead. Still there. It's now. We're clear. Three. Get that extra speed boost. I don't know if we're going to be able to hold on to uh, the top 10 after all, but I'm going to give it the best we can. One's flying up on us like a rocket. We'll give him the bottom here. Assuming that's what he'll want. That lap time was 33.2. Inside. Clear inside. We'll give him a little push. Not a real one, but an error push. Alright, we might have something to fight for with the 18. His tires aren't that much better, even if he is catching. We're getting closer to the end of this thing. We'll see how that looks in a lap or two. We do have the uh, lap car coming up with rocket fuel. So we'll have to watch out for that. We should be able to pass wherever, though. Could that be issue? Yeah, I think we can hold on to this P8. Well, never mind. I just saw the 12 peek in. <laughs> Maybe the 12 has something to say about that. He's got much fresher tires as well. But 10 to go. Got 10 left to go. Yeah, he's obviously going to catch and pass us. Or not? Where'd he go? The captain Baron ahead is now 0.9. Some way the 18's in front of him again. No idea. Something must have happened to him. What a race this has been, though. Green all the way. There's still time for late race shenanigans, but... Pretty great race. Saw a couple things that were looked like near cautions, but everybody kept to go in the right direction. If I could finish this off P8, that is absolutely okay with me. Eight Top 10 is all I really wanted. Top times are pretty consistent. And at 4,000 strength of field, that could very well have been a higher strength of field. I'm smiling with a top 10, that's for sure. Yeah, we're actually pulling away from the 18 at this point. Crazy. You like your damn blood clot. <laughs> Catching this lap truck. Looks like he's on very old tires. Compared to ours. It says on race lab, he last pit lap 34. So who knows if he can even make it on fuel. His race has not gone to plan for some reason. 
I'll take his draft, though. Outside. Oh my Korea. god. It's loose and hits the wall right when I was catching him. That was scary. I'm gonna need some more elaboration on your like a bunch of box beads. Hit the meaning of that definition. Three is in the lead. Five to go. Stay sharp. Stay sharp. Me, huh? Guess that means I'm doing okay. Stay sharp. Yeah, Trying to figure out what the hell that means. That's the set. That yeah, feels great. It feels so much better than it did the first run. Away, Colin. After uh, I didn't have to push so hard early on. Really makes a huge difference. Hey man, this is what happens if you turn on the with my left arm. Amazing. Heck, I mean the number one's still pulling away from us, but not nearly as fast as he should be as our truck that last pit on lap 52. He's that truck right in front of us. He has nine lap fresher tires, and we're holding even with him. Very happy with how the the truck has been able to balance this second run. Let's see, we're green. Alright, wrapping this thing up. Two more to go. Hopefully we can get to the white flag so we don't get any ugly green-white checkers where everything just becomes nullified and we all die in a fiery wreck. Good consistency. Keep them coming. I think the leader should probably be getting that white flag now-ish. Flag this time. Heck yeah. Awesome race. White flag. One more to go. Never really got it's tight this second run. Perfect amount of turn on the exit. Good one, Jake. Three, three truck gets the win. Three and four is a little tighter, but it's just the way it is here, and uh, still got some good speed out of it, so I'm very happy with that. I think I finished right around where uh, where I should have, when you consider the uh, alt account guys that are that should be higher I rated than me, that weren't. Great race. Do you feel better for? Is your ego all better now? No. Okay. Well, we, we I got stuff being me, said, but <laughs> yeah, that was pretty ridiculous. Sounds like there might have been some intentional stuff going on. We'll see that in the incidents when uh, we check it. Based on what I heard from my spotter, what happened to Tyler was pretty ridiculous too. All right. So, 24 car field would get eighth, and that's a gain for us as the number six car, according to Race Lab. Final round 70-72. Oh my god, that is so much better than the 50s I was running in that first run. Unbelievably better. Over 10% better. Um, that's like one less lap, one or two less laps run. So, big deal. Very happy with that. And, uh, no cautions, but we did see some stuff happen. Be able to take a look at that now. All right. So here we got 14 pushing tight early. Whoa, big stack up from it. Just got a line of cars all exiting the corner right there, all next to each other. They're able to avoid a wreck though.
drive up and into the wall. Probably focused on the Barbie car in front of him and uh, not quite ready for that safe to, safer bear to jump out. Excuse me. I always get the hiccups when I record. Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow, that was not a caution, huh? I guess he was just below the apron in time. So, we've got the 24 getting loose out of the exit of 2. So the 12's thinking, alright, I can go high. And then he just kind of drifts up in front of him. So he's thinking, alright, he's going to go back up to the wall. I'm going to cut low. And he just never quite gets back up high enough and the 12 doesn't cut low enough. So they end up in the same spot. And that was just enough to get him turned around. But somehow no caution. I would have thought caution comes out right about here because you know he's basically facing the wrong direction on the racing surface and he's got guys behind him but not quite that was probably pretty darn close though to getting called yeah wow some serious handling issues wow that's another really close call guy swerving down the straight and another sideways into the wall we saw that happen right in front of us so we're right back here 16 got the wall a couple times just some wall hits it looks like here and then I think we're at that point in the run where maybe the tire wear is just showing up. I'm pretty sure whenever the tires reach about 50%, they'll start showing up on incidents and messing up our uh, control numpad 3 system here. So we'll skip forward a little bit until pit stops happen. Ooh, here's something for real. Got one in the wall and one loose. That, I feel like, is a very good indication of how crazy the handling could get out of two. Because on one hand, you can get so tight that you can end up in the wall. On the other hand, you can get so loose that you get sideways and then put yourself in the wall. Got to be good at those tires, and I'm glad I was able to do that the second run. I think it paid off. So still making our way through some of these false incidents. Skip ahead a little bit faster. Can't go too fast, though, or it'll break. It's so finicky, this thing is. Looked for a second like that was going to be a wall hit, but we slowed it down enough. Should stop seeing these at about lap 48-ish, I think. Are they going to come together on exit? No. Nope. Close, though. Ooh, okay. So, this is something that uh, they got upset about. It's net code, it looks like as the 21 could be higher and closer to the wall but there was actually no contact here pulls them to the right and then they make contact and then the four looks like he kinda just gives up and starts swerving which not very cool of him because that makes the five get into the back of him when he probably could have just kept going straight so the five runs into the back of him and that is what we saw there because we came up on that as well that's where we got in this situation where we had already pit We're trying to get around guys quickly kinda had to make a little bit of a little bit of a sketchy outside move they saw me coming though and they were good about leaving the lane moving forward five still going after making some contact with the four Some of the late pitters.
They're really maximizing it, being really brave. Big wall hit for the 22. Two spins it into the entry. There's a Teletubby on the back of that guy's car that just ran over the eight. So this happened right in front of us as well. A lot of things happened right in front of us actually. Looks like they might have stacked up a little bit because uh, the five gets in a little bit slower than I think the eight was ready for, and you just kind of get a mini accordion, I think. Uh, but the 10 was not ready to lift off or tap the brakes for him. So, sends the 8 sideways. We were able to get around. We left him that lane down low. And, uh, not sure what happened to him beyond that because I thought he was going to come past us again because he had so much better tires, but he never did. I might have just killed his tires. Also, yeah, I kind of wanted to look at this. Because I didn't say much when it happened, but... Did he clear me? Okay, yeah, we're good. For some reason, I, I think I was thinking of something else. There was one time I, it got cut really close. Oh, so I'm just gonna run in the back of the 22. Not, not wanting to lift 22's lap car. 20 up into the wall. Lap 71, just about to the end of this thing. Whoa, okay. What happened here? 24 is just running into the back of the 12 for some reason. Just shoves him out of the way. What was that for? Huh. Is this... Do these guys have history or something? I don't remember. But that's a thing that happened. He's probably checked out. <laughs> it's looking like he's way off the pace. Might be looking at his phone or something. Ooh. That looked like an Alt F4. That might be why this guy never came up and passed us again. So he's trying to get around the 22 who's a lap down, and he gets loose, corrects it, overcorrects it into him. I think you probably all F for it after that. 22 almost wrecks it. We only almost got that late caution. Whoa. It just pulls to the right on him all of a sudden. Thankfully no one was there. <sighs> 22 is just trying to limp it around at this point. He's way off the pace. He Probably should be on the outside if possible, but I don't know if you really had a great opportunity t to do that. You don't want to just cut in front of the fast trucks, so... Hard to really... I think that's just a tough situation whenever they, you've got the 2x2 two two coming up. I feel like the 16 would have been fine. Like, he had room. It's almost like he aims for him. Now that I look at it, so that was kind of weird. He's probably looking at the guy, and so you just end up driving where you look sometimes. 16 looks like he almost wrecks the four. He's driving him up on entry. They're having themselves a gloves-off battle, I think. Eh, maybe he just got loose. He ends up in the wall. Oh, man. That would have been a caution, but this was, uh, the white flag was out at this point. It's all over the place, and the 9, just an innocent bystander there. Anyone minding his own business? Nothing happening. And, uh, that will do it for Legacy Atlanta. So there was actually quite a bit to see. Even though it was a caution-free race, 
we'll lose some from our starting spot, but I think uh, that's to be expected when so many guys don't qualify. And uh, we still got ourselves a great finish. I'm happy with that. Again, this was a 4,000 plus strength of field, so um, P8 as the number six, totally cool. That is a great finish. And uh, I think iRacing will agree. We will get a 14 I rating gain and no incidents, of course, so we're still at A499. 167 championship points is a great number. And uh, we even led some laps, which is kind of fun. And uh, three gets the win as 7,000 I rating guys tend to do. And uh, I think we can call that a success. Some really fast guys that we uh, ended up finishing ahead of, so. Good stuff, all right. That will do it for this one. Thank you for watching, and thank you uh, to Daniel for providing the setup. Really cool of him. Helps me uh, run out here with the fast guys <laughs> a little bit better but uh, still not quite able to keep up with the, the capital F-A-S-T guys. <laughs> so, um, truck felt great. I think if I had a better first run, I could have uh, kept up with that lead pack a little bit better. If I had been able to do what I did that second run and keep it into the 70 percentages, that would have been really great, but still an awesome run. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.